the deck water spray system on a gas tanker. What is it? Where is it? Why is it there? What areas must it cover? How does it activate? Auto, manual, what kind of water? Is there some special water? What kind of tests? When do I test it? And can I walk through this spray? Well, I've gone through the VIQ and also put in a lot of efforts. I hope I answer all of your queries here. If I don't, please do comment and I certainly will respond. So let's go and dive into the system right away. Hey guys, what's up? Hope you all are doing good. This is Captain Rahul Chadda. So I am making a, this small video for my dear friend and chief engineer. So here this video talks all the things, all the details about the gas tanker deck spray system. The firefighting system on deck, that is the deck spray system. So I'm in the bridge right now. Here are the push buttons to start all the different pumps, but particularly let's look at the water spray pump. Can be started from various locations like bridge, CCR, ECR, local control. The water spray line on a gas tanker is for the firefighting. Okay, so this is the screen on the CCR panel of the monitor. So here we go. This is your spray pump. It takes suction from the seawater line, it delivers it to a filter and on to the deck. There are two valves. This valve is to the accommodation section. As you can see, it goes all spraying the accommodation front as well as the lifeboats and the life rafts. And another valve here. This one says it goes to the hub. That means this one goes right from here to the forward of the vessel and to the life raft. So this is the panel at the CCR that gives us all these details and a basic diagram. We can even start the pump from the CCR from here. Yes, by clicking on the screen, I click on the right click on the pump and I can click the start button and start the pump. Other ships, you have a general push button there. So guys, this is a water spray pump or uh, water spray system on deck and uh, it is the bottom platform there. Now, this suction is from sea water as it is done from sea water. Uh, but we have to brush the back of the tank from uh, fresh water. It is taken from uh, starboard side uh, tank of fresh water. Uh, second engine, come in. Uh, second engine, the plan is uh, once we share. Okay, thank you, second engine. Stand by. So, right now. So, let's look at this the OCIMF Sire, the VIQ. This is the holy bible of all the tankers. Chapter five of the VIQ is safety. So 5.40 covers this deck water spray system. For LPG tankers, it's 8.69, and whereas LNG, it's 8.73. The rules are basically the same. It's just that different type of ships because chapter eight is cargo. Cargo is divided into chemical tankers, oil tankers, LPG and LNG separately. Yeah, I hope you guys are reading the thing along with me. It's supposed to cover the exposed cargo tank domes, any part of exposed cargo tanks, booster pumps, heaters, relification plants, some components that are outside the compressor room, exposed deck tanks. That is, sometimes we have pressurized vessels, pressurized storage vessels for cargo on the deck, then any gas processing units, cargo and liquid discharging and unloading connections that is the manifold area must be completely covered all the exposed ESD valves the liquid valves the vapor pipelines the master valves any exposed boundary or bulkheads and superstructures like the front of the accommodation must be covered your exposed life rafts lifeboats master stations facing the cargo area regardless of the distance from the cargo area and any semi enclosed uh, machinery spaces sometimes you have a booster pump or something that has a partial cover yes that needs to be covered as well we'll walk through the deck and I'll just show you a few of the places you can see the nozzles and identify them yourselves so I guess we are almost familiar with all the rules and the regulations of the system and now it's time to activate the system here we go three two one and there the system is activated of course, the rear ones, the rear nozzles will come up first because the engine room is aft. But in just a few more seconds, the whole ship is engulfed in a kind of a water mist. So this will help cool down the fire. Now, the system has been activated in manual by pushing the button. Well, if the spray pump and the system is in auto, there is a system on the deck called as a fusible plug system. These plugs 
will melt between 98 and 104 degrees centigrade. Compressed air runs through these pipelines. So once these plugs melt off, we get a low pressure alarm. That low pressure triggers off the starting of this spray pump. And uh, the most important in case of any fire on deck, there are fusible plugs on deck which melts off and when the line pressure is released, the deck spray pump is automatically started. ESD is automatically done, which makes it very important in case of any emergency on deck. Since the system is already active, we have two guys forward walking from forward to aft on each side of the vessel as well as the center line. We need to identify that each and every nozzle is spraying, is clear. It should not be dripping, it should not be clogged. If it is clogged or if it is just dripping and not spraying, we need to open, dismantle, clean, put it back and try out the whole system again. So as I walk past the places, please identify and if you can't, tag the timeline and comment below. As you can see, we are trying the system out at the open sea. But in case of a fire, we can even try it out at port or use it at port for that matter or use it anywhere. But after we use seawater into the system, we need to drain the system and we need to flush this system with fresh water. I repeat, we need to flush it with fresh water to blow away all the salt and all the salt in the line that could deposit and clog the nozzles. If this is not done, the next time you try out your system, you will surely have a couple of blocked nozzles or clogged. But when you flush this system with fresh water, remember the spray pump is a very large capacity pump and within a few minutes, in about 10 minutes or so, you could drain about 30 to 40 tons of fresh water and lose your fresh water reserve. So be careful or a better idea is to flush the system section by section. Use the isolating valves, flush the systems one at a time. <laughs> So now let's walk onto the top of the compressor room and get a view of all the nozzles at the top of the compressor room. From there, oh, we can see the lifeboat being covered with the spray right now. So in a fire, your lifeboat is protected. The accommodation front, this is the compressor room sides. The top of the compressor room has nozzles spraying to cool down the compressor room bulkheads. That's a heater vaporizer unit on the top of the compressor room and as you can see that one is covered too. So finally what we are looking at is the accommodation front and the bridge front completely covered in the fog of this water mist. Well this is the cargo manifold, the most important area and the area where a cargo leak is most susceptible. Well I hope all of you non-gas tanker guys have learned something new and seen the system in operation. All my gas tanker friends, cheers, thank you, and I hope I haven't missed anything out. So we have a fresh water line, which is connected to the suction of seawater line to flush the pump. Normally, uh, after the operation of the pump of seawater, uh, we have to flush it with the fresh water. Because... I hope you know why Ashish mentioned that you need to flush it with fresh water because the seawater can dry up, form into salt and clog the damn nozzle. Uh, this is the local start for uh, water spray pump. We can start it from here. So guys, this is the starboard side of fresh water tank. This is the valve when we have to flush it. Flush the pump with fresh water. We have to open this valve and we have to open one more valve down below. So guys, hope uh, this clarifies you. This gives you some information regarding the deck spray system on gas tankers and VLCs. If you have any doubt, do pass, do put it in the comment section so that this chief engineer who is doing a wonderful job for making up a lot of technical videos can help you up more with such technical videos and knowledge. Cheers. Four of these guys, Captain Rahul and Ashish, are sailing on gas tankers. One's been there for a long time. One's just got in, but fantastic job. Thank you and do share do like do subscribe not just to me